Hey, welcome back to the Gear Squad's channel. I'm Zeke, and I'm gonna talk about the LaPera Kickflip Daddy Long Leg Seat that I did the video on how to install with the awesome sticker, Booty Pleasing Motorcycle Seats. I just wanna say that. I wanna be sponsored by them so I could say that every video. Booty Pleasing Motorcycle Seats. Love the seat. You can see it looks phenomenal on the bike. It's Daddy Long Legs because it sets you back two inches for a taller guy. I actually think it sits you up a, about an inch or so uh, from what the stock seat was. And I'll explain how that benefited me here in a minute. First of all, comfortability. Comfortability? Comfortability. Comfortability. What should I do for reviews? Should I give it a star system? No, it was just awesome. Not gonna do stars. Didn't do it with the pipe stuff. I'm not gonna do it with this. The seat sat amazing. As you can see, it's got the little contour on the back that raises up, almost giving you a backrest so you don't have to get one of the plug-in backrests. That thing really does the job. I didn't think it was going to, honestly, brutally honest. I sat on it, I leaned back, and it didn't really hit me as high as one of the backrests would, so I thought, going down the road, this is not gonna be as comfortable as leaning back on a backrest. I was pleasantly surprised, it was. I actually did give me a little cushion back there to kind of lean and I was relaxed. Not quite like a recliner, but definitely leaned back a little bit more. <clears throat> so comfortability, outstanding. Ride, I did have to get used to it a little bit. It's a little stiffer from the bottom plate. Uh, I believe it's steel, if I'm not mistaken. Really good job uh, working on the review, Zeke. Do your research. And then the factory ones are, I think, some kind of polymer or plastic or something. So they give a little bit more. But I actually like the stiffness better as far as like the way it moved and stuff. It felt really comfortable, but it took a little bit of getting used to. I probably, let's see, I really started feeling better with it an hour in. So maybe 70 miles into the ride. Uh, I got a little used to it. And then after that, it was easy sailing the rest of the way. Got into Illinois. And Illinois was bumpy. This was the trip to Sturgis. So Illinois, I thought Tennessee roads were bad. Illinois, you top us. There were a couple times where my buddy that I was with went airborne along with another friend that was riding with us. And he was in a chopper with a steel seat. I can't imagine. Me, I would kind of dodge those bumps because I was towards the back, but I still felt them. But it wasn't anywhere near as bad as it would have been without the seat. It, it was very good at the cushioning, the absorbing of the shock. I, I mean, the shocks do that, but it did feel like I didn't feel as much of the bumps. That's what I'm trying to say, jeez. For the stuff it corrected, I said I had 16 inch factory 47s. That puts me about right here. Well, with my old seat, it kind of would have my wrist at that angle. So as I throttle, sometimes my, my arm would go down and I just stay, and I get these cramps in my wrist. So I said I was gonna go down to 14 inches on the ape hangers. I got this seat and it sits me up about an inch. So I went from this to this and I was out here, which is where you wanna be, right about shoulder, a little bit lower than shoulder, which is 16 inches on me. Most people were like this, I'm like that. But it fixed that whole problem. I didn't have a single cramp in my wrist. I didn't have my hands going numb. Nothing like that. And my knee pain that I sometimes felt on, you know, rides three hours plus, because I was sitting like this normally, and then it kind of pushed me back a couple inches and I was more outstretched, the knee pain kind of went away too. Looks, I already said at the beginning, but here's a few pictures, because it's beautiful. It has that retro, I guess you'd say, look. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it, retro, modern, anything. It's friggin' awesome. And that's pretty much my review of the LaPera Kickflip Daddy Long Legs. It set me back two inches, which helped with my knee pain that I was having. I did know, notice one thing, getting to the highway pegs, stretching my legs out, that was a little tougher. Uh, didn't bother me that much. It actually put my legs completely straight for once when I was riding on the highway pegs. 
other than that, the sitting back two inches was perfect. It helped relieve my wrist pain, which I was really worried about. Uh, it was really starting to bug me to the point where I was scared that I'd have to go with the different handlebars or something like that. Setting me up an inch or so more uh, helped alleviate that pain. Cushioning was outstanding. I didn't get the gel pad insert that LaPera offers. I don't know if that would have made a huge difference or not, but it definitely feels better than what the stock seat was because the stock seat like i said in the how to put the the seat on video the way it cups is fine for somebody with a little booty but when you're a little bit wider that little lip cuts in it almost like you know, pinches a nerve in a way to me i don't I, I just didn't like it a lot of people love the stock seat on the road glides i don't this seat would i recommend it absolutely 100 percent Especially if you're a taller guy, get the daddy long legs version. If you're a shorter guy, you can get the regular kickflip. It's amazing the looks of the pleats. You can get diamond, I don't know if you call it diamond plated, but maybe it is diamond plated, but it's, you know, sewn like diamond plating. Uh, you can get different color of stitching. They can do customization jobs on it. There's all kinds of things you can do. Uh, check out LaPera here. And that's about it. That's all I can say is just it was a freaking amazing seat. Uh, it was great. It was a phenomenal ride. I would recommend this seat to anybody. It's probably the only seat review I'm going to do because I'm going to keep this bike for a long, long time until I get another bike years down the road. Not anytime soon. Okay, maybe I'll do the hooligan racing. But then it'll be a different seat. I don't know if LaPera does kickflips for racing bikes. If you're interested in getting it, I recommend it wholeheartedly. And um, that's all. So guys, ride safe, have fun. Enjoy yourselves. See you later.